Django himself. We're going to be interviewing celebrities from all over the world. Your boy Danzo the Manzo is going to Hollywood. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Danzo. Hey, thanks there, Junior. Best of luck tonight. Listen up and listen good, you're on the wave with Baby Blue June, giving you the hits that give you the fits, the beats that make you want to eat, and the tunes that'll put you down soon. I'm taking requests, let's see who we have. Hi, my name is Katie, I was wanting to hear Bubblegum Baby by Five Minutes of March. Uh, I'm sorry Miss Katie, but there's only deep cuts on the wave during my show, no room for mainstream. It's June. Apologies, ladies and gents. You're listening to 96.1 The Howl. Let's get back into the mood with Yellow Face Cake's Odyssey. Like the Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Like Django. Yep. And Ray. Yes. Oh, that's incredible. I'm not saying you're not, Junie, but. Wow. Gee, thanks, Steph. Hey, I got something for you. Oh, I'm going to need it. And you're going to love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 uh. For safety, somebody broke out of one of those prison cells down there, and they could be roaming any of these streets. Can't be that bad. Like, from where? Holiday or Gory? Bird. Give me that. And then there's this fella. I got real excited and rolled them for you. So, Junie, let me introduce you to Alice. Hey, Junie, have you seen my headphones, man? You look ready to rumble.
call from Manzo's woman about an hour ago. Said he went down to the station. Should have been gone for his own business. I swear I didn't do it. So we go to check it out, you know, make sure ain't no funny business happening. I swear to God. Shut up! And you know, we find detective number one. What do we find, detective number two? Well, I'm glad you asked detective number one. We find Mr. I didn't do it. Bloodied hands and all. Just finished strangling the greatest DJ of all time. I didn't do it. <laughs> all right. Now, baby blue balls, why don't you tell us why you did it? I'm going to stop you right there. I say, I say it was jealousy, you know? Hmm. See, Danzo the Manzo just made the break of his career. Huge, gigantic, double dynamite. <coughs> and I think, I think you couldn't handle that. It would be in your best interest to step away from my client. Come on, let's go. Steph, how the heck did you- Not right now, Jane. We gotta get you to the studio so your makeup can be done. Steph, would you just stop and talk to me for a second? What happened? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Where am I and what happened to Danzo? <laughs> what happened to Danzo? <laughs> You keep that up, Junie, and your fans are gonna freak. Fans? What fans? The fans of the show. Oh. oh my goodness. Listen to me rambling on and on about this said show. And I'm just talking your head off and you didn't even know. I'm sorry, Junie, I forgot. You got a show. A show? Yes, a show. This new streaming network picked you up for their season two docuseries of Creating the Killer. You, my friend, are infamous. I didn't do it. You were the last person to see Denzel, right? Yeah. And there was no one else around no. when you were with him? No? Uh, then what are we arguing about, Jimmy? I mean, seriously, you have to remember, Danzo got the job that you wanted but he earned. And you can try to twist it and rephrase it all you want to make it sound like it's not so. The simple fact is, is that no one likes your show. You killed Danzo. And now, you're infamous for it. Steph, I'm not gonna fight you. I didn't do it. Well, then who did do it, you? You! What? You kill her? This isn't me. Hey, Junie, have you seen my, uh, oh. I'll see you around. <laughs> 